So I'm back with another YouTube video. I have to come on here and flop my cock on the table and just assert dominance real fast again because something occurred that made me swell up with anger like a balloon to the point where I was about to pop and I had to make a video or else it would get very bad very fast. The video that made me question my sanity was a Trisha Paytas video. It's obviously, you know, hearing that name is like hearing the boogeyman's in your closet. It's going to scare you to your core, make you hold on to your brain cells. You got you to hold your brain cells hostage so they don't run away every time Trisha Paytas speaks. Every time you hear her say anything, your brain cells just try to escape immediately to, to avoid suffering. She's the embodiment of suffering when you hear her speak. It's like nails on a chalkboard, but ten times worse, amplified through a megaphone. It's a woman moment above woman moments. It's transcended a woman moment into a full retard moment. And I know some people don't like that word, but there's quite literally no better word to describe what she's about to say in this video. So I've gave you every cautionary warning that I could give you. I've had flashing lights up on the screen. A police sirens went by a couple times. I've had caution tape wrapped around my entire screen here. But so if you're still here, you probably have some brain cells to spare. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the video. Trisha, what is the force that causes objects to fall to the ground? Girl, you better. I know this because my titties are low thanks to gravity. Yay! <laughs> But a we personal really, anecdote. Can we just also say we don't actually need gravity? But that's a different thing. Like, what do you mean by I that? I saw someone do this. Was this a TikTok? We were watching something where someone's like, we don't actually need gravity. We were watching this for me. Like, we actually don't need it. What do you mean that we don't need gravity? What if it was never invented? Invented by who? Sir Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton created gravity? <laughs> Whoever created gravity, someone did, but we don't actually need it. There was like, a time on... All... There was a time on Earth before gravity existed yes oh. who who created gravity babe <laughs> dan it was isaac well, newton you, you're right <laughs> you were in the so that was the tiktok clip that i seen on instagram that made me question if i should even be alive anymore or if this was even a real life situation this has to be a simulation or something but unfortunately it's real and since it's coming from Trisha Paytas, I can't say I didn't expect it. If anyone would say something this stupid and this ridiculous, it has to be Trisha Paytas. And before I start talking more about her, I just want to say I don't know why. I don't know the, the context to this uh, H3H3 podcast clip. I don't know why he looks like James Charles. I thought it was James Charles. It's, it's Ethan Klein in makeup. I don't know what that's about. But besides the point of him looking like a drag queen, Trisha Paytas... You understand why I called her a retard now. There's literally no better word in the English lexicon to describe what she just did than retard. That's the best of the best. That's like the top of the pyramid of words I could have said. Retard is the golden goose egg of words. I, I That's the best word I could have chose, straight up. So in Trisha's eyes, this is how it happened. The dinosaurs, they didn't have gravity because humans didn't exist then. Whenever Sir Isaac Newton was born in the, I don't know, some really long time ago, before him there was no gravity, but he invented gravity. He invented a gravitational pull around the entire Earth. He, he made people stick to the ground. Before then they were just floating around like they had helium inside of them or like they were getting touched by that one girl in My Hero Academia that can make people float. It was just the Wild West back then. They were just floating everywhere. They were astronauts on the Earth. As a matter of fact, they didn't even stay on the Earth. They floated out into space and then landed on another planet because gravity wasn't invented. How? What, what are they going to do? They're just going to float straight up, never going to stop. But Sir Isaac Newton, the real Chad of the Earth, said, No, nah, I'm going to make people stay on this planet. I'm going to invent gravity real fast. Let me make a magnetic field of gravity. I'm going to give the Earth a gra gravitational pull, and I'm going to make everyone stay on Earth where they belong. So therefore, that's how gravity was invented. Sir Isaac Newton just snapped his fingers. He had the infinity stones on his hand. He was Thanos, snapped his fingers. Gravity it was, gravity was invented. And I did get a little bit nerdy. I looked up what would happen if there wasn't gravity on Earth, like Trisha thinks. So before Sir Isaac Newton, if there wasn't gravity, people's bone density, bone matter, like the, the bones would just become, they would age way quicker than they should and you would have very feeble, brittle bones at the age of like 30 or 20 when they should be strong. It just makes your bones very weak, basically. So there's my science lesson of the day. Take that one to heart and remember that when you go to your next science class, tell your teacher that I'm teaching you science. Now they need to step out of the way or I'll just have to beat them to death.
I feel like a disappointed parent just watching this. Like my kid is performing in front of a live audience, giving a speech at their fourth grade orientation, their their first grade graduation or something, and they say something so stupid and idiotic that it makes you seem like you've taught them nothing as a parent, that you failed them as a guardian. That's what I feel like right now. I feel like I'm I should be shamed and be shameful, disappointed in myself that I didn't teach Trisha Paytas what gravity was. I, I failed as a as a father figure. And I like how Ethan Klon played along with her during her whole spill about gravity. We don't even need gravity. What if it was never invented? What would happen then? We'd just be floating around still, I guess, Trisha. I'd, we'd just be floating around still. I'm still questioning why he had the makeup on, but I hope he told her after the fact. I'm not going to go watch the whole podcast because I'm not a huge fan of the H3H3 man myself, but... I would imagine that he told her that's not how it is. Gravity's always been around, but if not, <laughs> I don't think she's going to understand anyway. She's not going to take that to heart. She's it's one ear out the other. She's like Patrick. There's nothing in that head. There's cobwebs and everything on her gears. Her brain is just, it doesn't work. So yeah, there's my spill, my rant about why Trisha Paytas is the dumbest person in the world. She was an experiment sent down here from the creator himself, put on Earth to see if anyone would be able to live and survive around someone this stupid and idiotic. And I gotta say, it makes you question if you can do it sometimes, but that's all for me. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Hey, it's me, your favorite incest from the movie The Hills Have Oz, and today we're making another video.